it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and this is for the week of October 12th through the 19th. Okay, so we're just going to see what comes up. This is for the new moon. The new moon is on the 16th so you could call this a new moon reading supposed to be a very intense week so be prepared for that so what do we have for Pisces for the week of the 12th through the 19th what do we have for Pisces not oh well unsuccessful plan so something isn't working out okay you may have got yourself tied to a situation you don't want to be in Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So let's just, it could, let's remove the word child because a lot of you get all bent. I sure to hell would. But anyhow, birth or conception of an enterprise could be a child. It could be something new. Okay. This is the birth of something new. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. So it's going to be a very emotional week for you, either in the love department, the hate department, both, okay? But whatever is happening, you, we do have a new beginning here, period, okay? Something is not working out in your life, okay? You've gotten yourselves into a pickle by the looks of things, I'm sure of it. And you got to untie this knot, okay? I think you maybe you just need to get some scissors or something and cut yourself out of it. That would be the best scenario anyhow um unsuccessful plan something you've got yourself tied to something you know and it's interesting because it looks like there's a break right here so it does it looks like there's a break you know you can you can break out of this but you're gonna have to do it you might have to tug a little bit it might be a little bit rough but anyhow um what do we have for pisces sun moon rising and venus could be Pisces Mars as well. Um, what do we have for Pisces? <laughs> the moon, which is your card. Okay, all is not as it seems. It's pretty interesting that that would come up, huh? All is not as it seems. There's hidden forces here. Something has been hidden. Uh, you need to proceed with caution this week this is there's an unclear and difficult path ahead okay this is gonna be a difficult week for you I know that it is I know that it is um, there's unseen problems ahead uh, you need to look deeper you could be dealing with a liar okay you could be dealing with somebody that is lying to you okay make sure that you are looking deep okay I would say that you need the, this person's phone has some information on it. Um, temperance reversed. Now there's unhealthy behaviors here. Now this reading can go vice versa. So if you're a cross watcher, this reading could be for you. There's something that is hidden. But I think that you can find it if you look a little bit deeper. Temperance reversed. This is... Uh, engaging in negative patterns, a need to reevaluate, a need to re-examine. Something is hidden and I think you need to, well I already said you need to look a little bit deeper. Is that this, now I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, you could be. You could be dealing with a Cancer as well. Um, could be dealing with a Sagittarius moon sign. You know this person is Sagittarius moon. You know. Um, but anyway, the temperance reversed. Um, frustrated. I think you're going to be very frustrated, maybe very moody. This is like an emotional roller coaster ride. You're going to be going on an emotional roller coaster ride. That's always fun. Anyhow. Ah, okay. So that's great. Not. Okay. Temperance reversed is upside down. Okay. This is self-healing. Profound self-healing is needed. This is not healthy. This is extremes. Extremely inappropriate behavior. Somebody's acting inappropriately. There's some sort of imbalance here. There's going to be a conflict. There's hostilities. 
there's this is some sort of inconsistency. You may be dealing with either you or them. Somebody is emotionally unstable. Okay, they're emotionally unstable. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now this one is solid, stable, secure. Okay, this Queen of Pentacles, she is uh she's got some sort of money by the looks of things she has money she has some sort of golden opportunity in her hand she's very nurturing nurturing independent capable hard worker we have a hard worker here you may be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn this person has a lot to offer okay this person is very valuable she has well, that is abundance in her hand. She is very abundant. She's a nurturer. She's a creator. This is a mother, somebody that is very loyal. Okay, so we have somebody here that is very loyal, that is stable, all right? Has some sort of, well, that is the Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity in her hand. She has an opportunity. This is something of value. So this Queen of Pentacles has something of value. But it looks like she's turning her back on this person that is emotionally unbalanced. Nine of Wands reversed, Ace of Wands reversed. So this is all this is this Queen of Pentacles is very uh, abundant. It's money. It's about money. Anyway, Nine of Wands reversed, Ace of Wands, something not coming to fruition, something not working out. There's there's some sort of, um, somebody's fire is being put out by the looks of things. Something is going south. It's probably going south really, really, really fast. Nine of Wands reversed, expecting a challenge, avoiding challenge, uh, hard feelings there's some sort of hard feelings here refusing to compromise somebody is refusing to compromise and they are engaging in negative patterns they want their own way this is somebody that is very disagreeable that is sitting on a high horse that has a lot of pride there's somebody here that is extremely prideful This is being put out. Somebody is going to be put out. It's definitely going to be a frustrating time. It's definitely frustrating. There's some sort of uh, a need to set a boundary. A boundary needs to be set in some way. Interesting. Nine of Wands reverse. Somebody has a chip on their shoulder. They do. They keep repeating the same things over and over and over again. Very materialistic. It feels like we have somebody here that is materialistic, that is only in a situation for the money or the stability. You know, they're not in it for love because there's no love in these cards. Somebody is in a situation just for the roof or the money or the bank account or something like that. I think that you need to be careful. I do because that moon card is be careful. I do. I think, you, I don't know if somebody is using you or what. Anyhow, um, Queen of Pentacles. She's all about money. She's all about stability and security. Um, definitely unbalanced. You know, it's funny because I, I don't know why, but I don't think it's you. I think it's this person right here. This person is selfish. I think you're dealing with somebody, and maybe it is you. If you're taking, if you are the woman watching this, say if you're the woman Pisces watching this, I feel like it is the woman that is watching this that is selfish. I don't feel like it's the man. I feel like we have a selfish woman here who is only in a relationship for the money. Because she can't take care of herself financially. Anyhow, let's get back to the business here. 
Um, I could be wrong. I mean, I could be wrong. I think there's an unclear path definitely ahead. This is something not coming to fruition. This is something not growing. Something Somebody isn't going to get their way. This is a battle. It's a fight. I feel like there could be an, there's, there, there could be a fight. I think that you need to protect yourself. I think that uh, you need to beware. Definitely beware. A fight is probably going to ensue. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay? Um, there could be a Sagittarius that is coming in that is going to be picking a fight. Okay? Um, this is somebody that... Uh, is not happy. They're not happy with something. They're not happy with an outcome. And I feel like this person is 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 going to be picking a fight of some sort. Um, they may be coming to your home. All right. Four of Wands is about commitment. It's about home. Uh, it's an it's a get together. It's a gathering. Um, contentment. But we have somebody here who's not content. They're not content at home. They're not. I feel like uh, they're not. I mean, it's a very um, unbalanced. There's there's a lack of harmony here. Put it that way. Um, all is not as it seems. Somebody may be pretending that they're happy at home, that they're in a happy commitment. They're not. Okay, they're not happy. It's pretending. It's fake. It is definitely fake. Okay. Um, five of Wands reverse. That's all out war. A battle, a competition. Uh, somebody has some hard feelings. This is hard feelings. There is somebody that has some hard feelings, and it feels like they're they're coming to your home. And I hate to. I'm not trying to scare anybody. There's, they, you know, there could be a fight that breaks out. Um, right around the full moon or the new moon. Uh, this is dissatisfied. Somebody's not satisfied. They're not satisfied. Um, they're not happy. They're not happy with an outcome. Somebody is not happy with an outcome. And they're being unrealistic. Somebody is not very realistic. And this may have to do with money. Somebody's selfishness. Somebody, it's almost like you're going to pay. You're going to pay for your selfishness. And I don't know what that means. We have, it feels like we have somebody here that is very greedy and selfish. <sighs> I, don't know, I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign and an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All is not as it seems. You may think that everything is okay, but everything is not okay. Okay, we have somebody here that is not in a correct state of mind. This person is angry. They're angry. And they, they're going to be picking a fight. So somebody is angry and they're going to pick a fight. Somehow you're involved here. I think that you need to beware. Um... <clears throat> Not excited, not excited that Ace of Wands reversed. Somebody's not happy. They're not happy with how something went. It's almost like it's revenge, you know? Um, five of Cups, not Five of Cups, Five of Wands reversed. Tension, conflict. There's going to be conflict. Be and this is a conflict as well. This person is unwilling to compromise and they're not happy with an outcome. So that they're very, this is like hostility. So somebody is very hostile. You got somebody here that is hostile. But this conflict is going to come to an end eventually because of this five of wands. The conflict will end, but I don't think it's going to end the way that you think it's going to end. It's, it, I don't think that it is. How is this? It's gonna. It's not gonna be. And you're not gonna get what you thought you were gonna get. Knight of. This is somebody that is out of control. This is dangerous. The fight. The the Knight of Swords. I want to keep saying fives. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna, something about five. I don't know what that means. But anyway, Knight of Swords reverse. This is somebody that is is out of control. Somebody that is looking for a fight. Somebody that is dangerous. That may have some mental health issues. 
um, this is like ex this is like a tower moment okay this is somebody that just cannot control their emotions and uh, you know this person has a chip on their shoulder is a know-it-all and it, it feels like they're they're uh, they have no fear. This person has no fear and they got a bone to pick. It feels like somebody is on a mission. They come and, and this is like dangerous. It's dangerous. It's a dangerous situation. I think you may have gotten yourself into a dangerous situation with somebody. This person, it feels like they're coming, they're coming to you. I got my hands on my head with my eyes closed. Okay, I don't know if you can see it in the crystal ball. I'm not even my eyes are closed and my hands are on my head, my forehead. So anyway, and you may be doing the same thing, like, oh my God, you know, this is uh, somebody that is flying in. It feels like they're coming in, um, they've got a bone to pick, and it's going to cause a major uproar in your life. I feel like you're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked. You don't even see this person coming. Um, this person is angry. They're very upset. They, um, I don't know, I don't know, I hate. I mean, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I feel like it is a scary situation. And I feel like um, that, and this is an intense week, okay? It is. It's going to be an intense week. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is mentally unbalanced and they have a bone to pick and they're coming to pick it, <laughs> okay? So I think that you should beware. You should protect yourself. This person is definitely not happy. They, they may something about greed something about money you know they might say you owe me money you know and you don't want to pay the money or something about money money is the issue here yeah you don't deserve that money isn't yours i don't know what that means something about greed something about money um so you know uh it's like refusing refusing to pay up is going to get you in trouble or being greedy over the money you know wanting all the money for themselves or you wanted your all the money for yourself it's something about greed um, anyway, um, I feel like there is going to be a fight. Somehow you are involved. Um, exposure. Lies are going to, lies are going to be exposed. This person is, is exposing something. Um, opening up. Yeah. I don't know. I saw. I just saw opening your eyes. You know what I mean. It's like you open your eyes. This is gonna wake you up. This is a wake up call of some sort. So you know, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I don't like to scare people. People think I like to scare people, but I don't like to scare people. Anyhow, um, yeah, something's going on here. Passionate love or hate. Somebody may hate you. It's not me. Okay, so I don't know who it is. Somebody may hate you, and um. They're going to be acting on their emotions. And that's what I got. Good luck.